Turtle here coming at you with another PSA video. We have another stack of PSA slabs to go through. This wraps up a 144 card submission, um, but they're almost all Charizard, the same Charizard. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty quick. So actually we'll start with just some uh, mail day real quick. Actually starting off some uh, magic stuff. So I do like picking up useful, uh, good magic cards and Imperial Recruiter was just really cheap after its number of reprints. I picked up a play set of those. We got the Rapid Strike Energy, so slowly picking up all the secret rares from the previous sets, that one being Battle Styles. And then we got some nice cards, so these I'll likely send to PSA. We got Karina's Focus, and uh, actually, let me put it down so you can't see them. Uh, pretty nice centering. Togekiss, kind of a strange Pokemon. Uh, you know, actually, Togepi was always cute, but then once Togepi started to evolve, <laughs> a little less so. All right, we got the Sleepy T-Tar, Drunk T-Tar, uh, definitely my favorite art from Battle Styles. I think a lot of these aren't great centering, but definitely near mint as far as like, so TCG players where I picked all these up. So we got three copies. Maybe we'll be able to snag a 10, maybe this one. This one definitely centering is not perfect. And then we got some Evolution from Evolving Skies. So yeah, opening boxes has been tough. I actually have not pulled a single evolution alternate art so we're going the singles routes slowly picking up we got umbreon very nice one and then this one is my favorite i actually got the good deal on this on ebay definitely looking at probably a nine i think it's a little bit of whitening on the edge maybe even eight but uh, just to have this uh maybe those have to go into a binder actually but this is definitely my favorite art again i envision a farmer and there's uh buddies helping him and last but not least, we got a Rainbow Snorlax. Shout out to Ty. I think he would appreciate this card. Uh, it was actually pretty expensive. Uh, but I do think this has a shot at picking up the 10 and definitely an icon iconic card during the Sword and Shield era. All right. Let's get to the PSA slabs. We're actually going to go in backwards order because almost all of them are Charizard. So we'll hit all the non Charizards first. And we're starting off with Eternatus VMAX Secret Rare from Darkness Ablaze. Um, this guy got so many printing, so I don't think this card will hold too much value. You know, you got the various gold ones um, that maybe is better than this rainbow. But nonetheless, we did get a PSA 10, so pretty happy with that. Shout out to Richard Omega, uh, the Kaiju Hand <laughs> name. All right, let's see what else. Uh, so all this stuff is Darkness Ablaze. And here we have the Centiscorch V Max. I was pumped when I pulled this because at the time playing PTCGO, it's a very fun and easy deck to play. We did get the 10. Um, after Shining Fates comes out, I'm less and <laughs> less happy with Centiscorch because I keep pulling them instead of Charizard. So, but uh, anyway, another 10. Here we have Butterfree. Actually, I think this was the one that I wanted to get the 10 the most. Um, I feel like there's not too many good Butterfree cards, so this one, you know, it has a good shot. Uh, there's no shiny variant at the moment. Unfortunately, this one did get the mint 9, so if I had to pick between any of those three, uh, Butterfree would probably be the one that I want the most to <laughs> be 10, which is a little unfortunate. Alright, so now we're going into the Charizard train, and that is the regular V Charizard Darkness Ablaze. This one did get the PSA 10, and so actually I'll just kind of talk while showing these. All right, so we do have a nine here, but essentially, you know, um, probably like a month after release uh, is sometimes when it's the, nice, the best time to pick up, you know, just uh, your singles. And, uh, you know, this being a regular V, you know, there being the V Max, so those just the regular. Uh, so this wasn't exactly the chase Charizard, but hey, any Charizard is good by my standards. And I believe at the time I picked up like 20 copies of this on TCG Player. I think all of them were between six and eight dollars. And it's like, you know what? I'll pick them all up or pick up a bunch of them. And if they're not tens or nines, that's okay. And uh, you know, this was over a year ago, but I bet a lot of them be tens because I think, I feel like the secret rares, people will kind of like keep the well-centered ones to themselves, but these regular Vs, you know what, they'll probably just have all of them in their inventory. Um, and I feel like we got a really nice ratio of nine to 10. You know, I'm feeling it's like, uh, what, maybe a four to one, maybe five to one ratio so far. So very nice to have 
Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but uh, I feel like it's kind of like you couldn't really go wrong for the price at the time. And um, yeah, any PSA 10 Charizard, it's just nice to have in the collection. Even if it's just like, a, at this, you know, this was not the Chase Zard, or even the Darkest of Blaze Chase Zard. I feel like that one is definitely underrated. I'm curious what its future has for it. Um, I feel like that one is kind of interesting because like, it was the chase card of this set, but then they came out with you know the rainbow later on, Champions Path, they came out with the shiny later on. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. But uh, yeah, so we got like, you know, 20, <laughs> 20 some odd Charizards, uh, most of them PSA 10, so I'm pretty happy with the results of this um, of this PSA submission. We still got some more PSA videos in queue. We actually have the Cardass Pocket Monsters, all 151. So all of them but the promos coming up in upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.